Today is the first day of the 365 days in the year 2023. Usually, on such a day is when people make New Year resolutions and the plan ahead of the year. Well, at KCCFC TV, we are here to serve you better and much more things are coming up front. The last time we were here, we had a Christmas special and it was a lovely interview with the players, how they caught up with their families, how they spent Christmas, and now everything goes up on a Christmas day. Well, today, on the 1st of January, 2023, I'm going to have a player that uh, many of you know about. I think very many of us know that the league is at a break, and uh, many people out there would want to know what the players do on such a break. How are they preparing for the resumption of the league? We are going to join the team captain, Benjamin Ochan, at Ultimate Fitness Kampala to tell us what he's up to in the season break and what he's planning to do ahead of the resumption of the season. Okay, let's go. Join me. Well, that was a tense workout from the team captain, Benjamin Ochan, and what a way to kickstart your 2023. So right now, I'm going to have a very interesting interview with the team captain, Benjamin Ochan. Happy New Year, by the way. Ah, uh, cheers, man. Happy New Year. I, I, I walked in here, and uh, to be honest, I, I've loved what I've seen. Yeah, eyes on the prize. Is this man. what you're trying to do to kickstart the year? Eyes on the prize. I love the energy. Yeah, because... Uh, uh, talking about energy. Yes. The season ended. Mm -hmm. No, first round. First round, mm -hmm. sorry. First round ended and the team is on top of the table. Mm -hmm. Could I say this is the energy you want to start with and keep at the top till the end of the season? Yeah, uh, our target was to be top of the table mid-season. Mm -hmm. uh, we have achieved that. Our target is still to stay top of the table. That means we'll be champions. So eyes on the price, we have to keep pushing. And I'm sure everybody out there is pushing. Talking about uh, ambitions and purpose, yeah. what are your ambitions? Very many people have uh, year resolutions. I won't tell you mine though, <laughs> but uh, what are your year resolutions? Uh, for 2023. For starters, since we're in KCC TV, is to win the league. And uh, yeah, for starters, it's to win the league. And I hope and I will. And yours as a person, as an individual, away from football and away from KCC FC? Yeah. So I, I think you also have a life outside football. Yeah, sure. So what are your sure. personal ambitions sure. as a chan? Um, I'm praying and believing I have um, an injury-free season uh, crowned with being champions. And uh, God willing, I think we'll achieve that as a club, as an individual. And then also, um, maybe go with a team on a yacht after we've won the league. <laughs> <laughs> on a yacht in yeah. Uganda? Yes, the yacht is in Uganda. Where? Seriously, Munyonyo, everywhere. Okay. Even in Entebbe. We can go and do the local ones, the okay. Chidieri. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to have that experience. Uh, last season, yeah. uh, when the first round got done, yeah. I remember KCCA yeah. lost that uh, the last game of yeah. first round mm. to URA mm. in Deje. Yes. Then the first game of the season was again against URA yeah. mm. at uh, MTN Omondi Stadium, which KCCA won, but yeah. went ahead not to win the league at yeah. the end of the season. Yeah. What do you think happened then that should be avoided this season for the same not to happen? 
Uh, well, uh, last season, like you said, we had a good start. And, uh, like this season like also? Like this season. Mm. Uh, this season wasn't so good because we lost our second game to Arua Hill. Yeah. Yeah, but last season, we were, we were on top of the table most time of the, of the season. Mm. And uh, I think we lost concentration and, uh, and uh, lapses in uh, consistency. We won some where we needed to win, we didn't win and all the things. Well, as our counterparts were capitalizing on that. And um, I believe we, we learned our lessons, and I believe uh, this season we're going to keep up the pace and stay top of the table come the end of the season. Uh, uh, talking about this season, yeah. uh, KCC has had a slow start. Yeah. Uh, I won't say it has lost very many games, but mm. the start has been slow, but yeah. also not to KCC FC alone. Yeah. Very many teams, even talking about uh, the mm. Vipers and yes. all the teams that are below, have also had a slow start. Yeah. What do you think has been the cause of this? Um, ideally, the Ugandan league is not an easy league. Uh, really? Yes, it's not. It's not. I've been out there and uh, I, I can tell you it's not an easy league. Why? Because uh, uh, we all have this almost the same type and style of play. It's only a few teams like uh, for us KCC because we are the biggest club in the country and we have a, a certain brand of football we want to play. Uh, but the other teams, the way I'm, I'm not under a certain, just, just, yes. just, just to come in a little bit, yes. a certain way of football yeah. you want to play. Yes. Do you play that? Is it just want yeah. or you play it? It's a culture. It's a culture. Uh, the Casasiro style uh, is to knock the ball around and trust me, you, you, you'll bear witness. We, we've tried to do that this season much better than last season. But, but, but uh, during very many yeah. games, yeah. I see the fans I've seen fans bring placards. Yeah. Play our way, play our way. Yeah, but we've tried. If you, if you, if you, if you saw a game last season and in this season, mm. there's a lot of improvement. It means we are doing a few things right and we are sticking to it and we believe it's going to pay off this season. D does it come to a certain point where you have to get off that way at times and maybe get results? No, no. You know, you know there are styles of play. Uh, you can, what people say, Kubayo, Kubayo, he normally hear those chants and stuff. Is that a style of play? No, 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 that's, <laughs> it's a style of play. By the way, it's a... Kubayo is a style no, of no, play. No, 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 you play a target man. You play a target man, he holds on to the ball, you see like uh, uh, Simon Kakonde. Mm. Whenever he comes on, the, whenever the manager brings him on, we, we have practiced how we want to play. Because maybe you want to do a high press, you hit the ball to him. So from you? Yes. Not from me, from <laughs> anyway. It's a style of play, honestly. You play a long pass because you want to get into the opponent's half mm. very fast. He holds on to the ball, we play the second ball. Mm. So it's not Kubayo, as other people think. But of course, you understand. KCC supporters are used to, hey, hey, ta, 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 you understand. It's always been the tradition of the club. So at times, mm. you, what you're trying to say, at mm. times, depending on the kind of the opponent you have, yeah. you can't have the same style of play like it's, all it's, the time. It's hard. Why? Because at home, we've tried to play well. But I don't want to name stadiums or pitches. There, mm. are, there, are, there, are, there are some fields you go and play. I, I don't call them stadiums, they are fields. We go and play. I'm honest, my brother. <laughs> now we go and play. You can't even <laughs> put a few passes together. So it's hard. Given the players we have, given, yeah. given, given our style of play, sometimes it's hard. Though, that long ball we play is not Kubayo. It's a style we apply where and when. Sometimes we want to get to the opponent's half, like I said, earlier and do a, a high press, a second mm. ball and all the things. Sometimes we want to play at one side because sometimes you, show, you see Simon moving to the left or to the right. We want to, we've, we've, we've noticed a weakness, maybe that the team has a weakness on the right or on the left, so he moves on the right. We play there, we want to press there. It's not Kubayo, Kubayo. You know, we're a professional club, we have professional coaches and Everything is in line. So to the fans out there, you understand. For them, they want to knock the ball all the time. Yeah. It's hard. It's but, hard. But that's fun. Yeah, it's okay, fun. as a yes. fan. Yes. Because right now I'm you're talking. I'm a KCC fan, by you're, the way. You're talking as a, a football player, active football player. Yes, and a KCC fan. Okay. Yes. As a KCC FC fan, yes. who's probably seated in the stands, yes. watching the team play, yeah. would you love that style of Kubayo? Would you understand? Okay. I, I think I'm asking the wrong question because you, you're a player, so you're <laughs> no, probably listen. going to answer this as a player. No, no, no. no okay, no, no. as a fan, no, no. seated, yeah. you've paid your money, yeah. coming in. Yeah. Well, you may not get the results, but yeah. let me enjoy the football as a yeah. fan. Would yeah. you sit back at, behind yeah. in the stands and watch your team 
send balls, send balls, and the results also don't come? You know, football today has a lot of demands. Now, depending on what they open and put on the table, you have to respond ideally. You know, sometimes a team will, will sit back mm. and maybe they have two top men who will cause pressure here and maybe we're not comfortable here. So we we'll opt to go there and get to them as fast as we can. It, it, it depends. You know, as a fan who is used to the Kakasasiro style, mm. I would not love to see that. But, but the demands of the game, the demands. We also, we as players don't want to hit the ball, but the demands. You know, it's a business, it's our job. Yeah, and, and you have to and, get the results. And we have to get the results. And sometimes we may not play well and win. Sometimes we'll play well and lose. So, and the fans for them, if you don't play well and win, they say, ah, we want the results. Of course, they will demand that one also. Sometimes, but one thing you give to KCC fans, sometimes we've lost games and really played well and they've applauded us. So I understand, but also for us, we need to get the job done. And I think that's where my next question comes in. Okay. Uh, sometimes you've actually not won the games yes. and they applaud. Yes. They've loved the style, the style of play. play yes. As a player, yeah. Would you rather go with good style of play, mm -hmm. not win, mm. or win at whatever cost without a good style of play? If you have to choose between the two, which would you go with? Maybe to correct you, not at whatever cost, because <laughs> football is fair play. <laughs> if you say at whatever cost, okay. you mean... The cost is style of play. Yes. No, listen. Should we have that rough play, but get the results? No, for, uh, as a KCCA fan now, mm. uh, I would not love that. Uh, I, would not, I, would, I, would, I would love my team to, to play well uh, for the fans there. Because, you know, it's entertainment. We are entertainers. Mm -hmm. You would love that those fans come and they have a good day, they enjoy themselves, and at the end of the day, win. Mm -hmm. um, but also as a footballer, like I said, we need to get the job done. And it depends on the tactics. Because normally we have this video, whatever, these video classes of the teams we are going to play against. So we know how they play, we know their strong points, we know how we are going to crack them down, we know when to do what and what. But if you actually do that in Uganda? Yes, we do it. I don't know about other clubs, but we do because it in Because very many people actually think yeah. in Uganda what we do, we probably don't train, we just really? go and play. Yeah, very many people actually think our league in Uganda is so poor to the extent no. that we don't review games. For starters, it's a professional league. Why? Because all players in the league have contracts. That qualifies you to be a professional footballer. Mm. And I'm sure all players in the Ugandan Premier League have contracts. So it's a job. It means it has demands. If you want to perform, you need to have demands. So if it's just a league where you don't play, how did Vipers get to, to the group stages playing at, uh, I mean, with top players? Mm. So it means we put in hours of training. I wouldn't be here. I'm in the gym, my brother. You know? Working out. <laughs> Working out. I want to be, I want to have the best of me come the second round. So. It's a hard league, so you need to work with a lot of demands. You need to keep fit, your lungs have to be healthy, you need to inhale a lot of air, you need to handle the pressure, well. you need to eat well, you need to do... So, I mean, it's a tough league, it's a professional league. Okay, maybe not at the standards of Manchester, Arsenal, the English Premier League in South Africa, here in Maghreb, here in Africa, but it's a professional league mm. with demands. Uh, Benja, you yes, are the please. team captain. Yes, please. Uh, the, 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 the season is at a break. Yeah. Do you have conversations with your fellow players, maybe try to find out what they are up to during the break. Yeah. Uh, as, as a captain, I know yeah. this is the work yeah. of the coaches to yeah. follow up on players, what they are up to, are they keeping fit. Yeah. But as a captain, do you at some point try to follow up with your fellow players to see what, what's happening? Uh, KCC is a family. So we are, we, we, we are not only footballers. Mm. And one thing we do at KCC, for the time I've been here, even for the past spells I've been at this club, we bond, we try to bond very fast. And, and, and we may not have these talks as footballers, but as bad days, you know, mm. because the season is off and we need a breather from football, you know. But one thing I'm sure that all the guys are working out. I'm sure they are, they are in a certain gym, they're in certain Kasozi running, you know, <laughs> you know, they're doing some workout somewhere. So, but we, we, we do check on, uh, on, one, uh, on, our, on our brothers. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? How's, how are you enjoying the holidays? You know, mm. so we do that. It's important because it's a family. Yeah. But Benja, we are in a gym. Yeah. People are seeing us drinking water. Yes. Producer, first, first bring, first bring, first bring this. First, ah, okay. First bring. This is 8 kgs. Yes. How many of these can you lift? Hey, we can spend the whole day here, but mine is for you. How many can you do? <laughs> this is 8 kgs. I think yeah. I need around 12. Really? 
I just can give me 10. Just give me 10, I'll be. 10 what? Biceps. Just do 10, I see. I need 12. This is very light. This is so it means, it means 10 is easier. <laughs> 10 is easier. Do it the right way, like all the way. How much are you up. paying? I'm not paying. You say you do 12. So since it's 8, now I do 12 kgs. This is 8 kgs. Just do 10 then. Ah. Hey, ambulance. <laughs> For what? How are you okay, man? This hey, is one. Shape. Sure. Hey, you okay? I'm good. You okay. So, stop showing off, eh? Stop showing off. Yes, yes. I used to gym. I used to gym. Just that the body refused to come and I gave up. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that is the first segment for the show. And uh, next we are going to talk more about the team with Benjamin. This has been more about him and his lifestyle. I was uh, coping up with the break. Stay tuned for the next segment. Benja, you have, you have, you have, you've traveled. Yeah outside Uganda, then came back to Uganda. Recently, well, we had an interview mm. with uh, Alan Okello yeah. and Moses Waiswa, mm. uh, talking about the fact that most of our Ugandan players mm. actually don't last a lot, a lot when they go outside yeah. to play football. Yeah. I would also want to pick out your thought. Why mm. do you think that happens a lot? Most of our Ugandan players fail to succeed outside Uganda. Um, I don't want to defend the players because I'm a player, but... Don't defend. I'm not defending. Okay, I'll give you my uh, honest, honest opinion. opinion. Yes. Yeah. You know, there are many factors we, we, that we find out there. Um, some are footballing, some are non-footballing. So wherever you find yourself, one of them will affect you. But however, footballing uh, factors would be uh, preparation. Uh, you find a player, you come from Uganda, you've not been in any professional setup. You go there, they expect you to... Hold up. Yes. Yes, please. Any professional setup. You know, for you're example... You just told me yeah. we have a professional. What, what is professional? Professional is... Let me sit yes. very well yes. and listen to okay. you lie to me. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Why I say this is a professional league is because what turns you, what turns you pro? You have a contract, you're earning from that. Okay. Just like, what's your profession? I'm, I'm a doctor. I'm, I'm a what? cameraman. I'm a cameraman, you know, and all the things. Mm. So, uh, going back to, to why players don't succeed mm. there, there are many factors that, con that, um, that, that affect us. Mm. Uh, I will speak as a player. Uh, preparation. Uh, you find that most of the players we find there in the top footballing, top footballing countries, mm. have gone through proper structures, academy, and all the things from, from grassroots and from they've childhood. been from childhood and they've been going through all the setups until the top. Uh, with our case here, uh, honestly, there are a few settings you'd call academies in Uganda. You know? Uh, and there are very few players, I think, go through academies yes, in Uganda. Yes. Some of us went through so called academies, but it's not a full package. You know? Then so they went through an academy. I, I was through Friends of Football. Uh, with Eddie Butindo, who is uh, one of the best youth coaches I've ever known. In the country? Yes, in the country. Uh, in, Tebe, in, Tebe, in Tebe Soccer Academy. I'm in uh, Tebe Bono. In Tebe Bono, wow. Okay. I tried to play some football. I was seeing a bit of Entebbe in you, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway. So the, the preparation. Mm -hmm. We find that we don't go through proper footballing schools. So when we go there, and yet these people, being a foreigner is not easy. Because some countries, some serious countries, uh, they have only five slots for professional for, for foreign, players. foreign players. So you need to be at a certain level to match that. Because in that slot, you'd find you're competing with a, a Cameroonian, a Nigerian, and all the things. And yet there are local players who, who by your standards, for example, you're from Uganda, you're at their match. You need to be like two times better or something Big way, way more. better. Something incredible about Something you. special. S special about you. I'm sure have. the Alans will tell you, here is a number 10. I'm sure when you went there, they find themselves being in number three and number two anyway, because they expect, they expect you to be all around because you're, you're a machinery. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you're a machuba. <laughs> you're a machuba. <laughs> so you find that when you go there, since you're not prepared, sometimes mm. it affects us. Then there are also factors of food, language and all the things. Many things constitute to that. But yeah. however, even us as players, uh, most of Ugandan players, their mm. mindset beats us out there. You mm. see our brothers from West Africa, mm. when they leave home, they've left. I have a friend of mine who told me, man, I left my mom in Ghana 
and I'm going to go back with the Range Rover. And just a few years back, he called me, he was like, man, hey, I got the Range Rover for my mom. So mindset is all Mindset, you, they just go. They are going, they are going for it. And, and there I, is no way. And I ask but, the yeah, question, yeah. is it that we are not tolerant enough? Like, as Ugandans, we don't have that physique, the mentality to keep pushing. Do we give up so easily? Um, partly, partly no, you know. Um, also goes back to culture. I think mm. we, are, uh, we, are, we people here in Central, I would also call myself from Central because I've lived most of my life here. Um, we are so friendly. And for example, in Uganda, hey, you will not ask for water and you're not given. You find a brother, somebody eating, and you're in the man, they give you some countries. You ask for something to eat or drink, they look at you as like, oh, no storage, <laughs> you know? So in Uganda, I think, um, I wouldn't say life is easy, mm. but um, we are very friendly. We are very friendly. So from childhood, we are alive. For example, a baby is there. Everybody wants to carry their baby. You go to a, a Western setting. You touch somebody's child. Like, hey, what are you up to? What are you up to? Something. So the mindset, our culture, and everything. It also contributes. But man, there are many factors. You can go. Also, luck in football, luck plays a very big role. You can go somewhere, and for you, you don't struggle a lot. You go somewhere, and things are tight. You know. But all these factors. Everybody has their story. Okay, I will tell you a story. Why so I will tell you a story. Uh, I will have my story, you know? So you put all these things together. There is no reason that this, this and that, but all these factors affect us, you know? That but it's true. no excuse for not going somewhere. And I mean, you can even go somewhere and, 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 and things don't work out. Then you get back and keep grinding. You never know, like what Okelo is, and everybody is doing here. You come back, get in the league, play, the challenge is falling down and don't want, not trying to get up again, you know? But it's, it, I mean, many, many, many factors. And for example, you guys, you guys always pointing fingers, players, you go there, things for Which guys? You, you're asking me, you <laughs> you know? But we also don't come, we don't know how, how things go with you guys. Maybe your bosses are also in your cases. Who asks you, hey, chichi, chichi, chichi. No, but- uh, So you should also be fair. So Benya, that brings me to my next mm. question. Yes, please. Uh, do you have an ambition yeah. to actually go and try football again. At the back of your mind when you're playing, do yeah. you feel like you want to make it and then go outside again and have that football again? My brother, I'm 33, I'm a goalkeeper. I'm, 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 I'm now being, um, how should I call it? With goalkeepers, we get better. Your climax. Between, yes, I'm getting to my climax. It means there are some things I've learned and some things that I've, that I've that's what I call experience, you know? Of course, it's a why would I why would I play? Of course, the target is go pro and, and have a good climax. But yeah, for and, now, and more money, I also and get that Range Rover for you. Yes, you know, hey, who doesn't want a Range Rover? <laughs> uh, now, uh, that aside, yeah. your statistics this season yeah. is um, I don't know to you. Would you say good, fair, bad, poor, individually or the team? Individually, clean sheets. I know even the clean sheet. Come, come, come down to team yeah, effort. Yeah. The players yeah. in front of you, the defenders, the midfielders. Yeah. It's it's a complete thing. Yeah. But as a player, yeah. you played uh, is it eleven, 11 matches? Yes. You have uh, five, five clean five sheets. Clean that sheets. is close to half mm. the number of games you've played. Fair, good. Uh, not good enough, but uh, you know, have you been watching the World Cup, right? Yeah, yeah. I've been. Who I've was watched. the best goalkeeper in the World Cup? For me, yeah. I, no, who I, took the best goalkeeper accolade? No, it was uh, Martinez. How many clean sheets? I don't recall. I'm sure the Morocco goalkeeper had more clean sheets than he did. No, but then it was yeah. given to yeah. Martinez. Yeah, but so I'm saying, why, 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 why I was stressing that is that, okay, people consider clean sheets and yeah. all the things, but um, I wouldn't consider them as an issue, though they are good for a team, for mm. team confidence, team defense and everything. Yeah, to answer your question, mm, not good enough, because if you we are good enough, uh, would have, like you people love a lot of clean sheets, would have more clean sheets. <laughs> for me, why I say people love a lot of clean sheets? For me, it's about team play, team winning, play. Mm. winning. That's why, not to defend the clean sheets thing mm. or whatever, the goalkeeping department at KCCA. We try our best, we're trying our best. 
to help the team play. But yeah. I want to ask, yeah. Yeah. do you think it's fair enough to award the clean sheets mostly to the goalkeepers no, and not, not defenders? Not. Because I feel like before, mm. well, you may pull out some outstanding Same. saves, but, but the, people, covered, the players yeah. who are covering you yes. right in front. Yeah. Should there also be... Yes. I think it's, among... it's not fair for only the goalkeeper <laughs> being it's given a clean sheet. Clean sheet. It's, it's a team thing. And the defenders actually who... Mm. At the club, at KCC, I don't know about other teams. Mm. For us, it's a team's clean sheet. You know? Uh, that's what we try to put in our heads. When we go into the game, we're like, today, guys, we keep a clean sheet as a defensive line for mm. starters. You know? So, for us, a clean sheet is for the team. And uh, we all work hard towards it. It's not an individual thing or goalkeeper, because, man, if these guys move away, <laughs> <laughs> you'll be left in the open. Yeah, so, we hit you straight. So, but anyway, um, not good enough, but we, there's room for improvement. And I believe we are going to improve come the second. But how many can I give? This one is light. How many did you count? Uh, you only did 10. You had to do. Yes, Welcome really. back from that short break. As you can see, we're trying to body lift. <laughs> Chande had me to do how many? 40 reps. You only did 10. 10? Yeah, for starters, it's okay. You're actually so beefing, you're beefing me. me. You're beefing me. You're beefing me. You'll be okay. But I have some kanyama. <laughs> <laughs> no comments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Benjamin, uh, before we went for the break, yeah. we're having more about you and other things. So now I want us to talk about the team. Mm. Um, when the team is not performing well, it's yeah. usually about the coach. Yeah. And uh, when the play of style is not good, it's about the coach. It's the coach's neck that is actually always on the panga. Yeah. As players, when you have a, a, a bad game, yeah. do you ever sit back and think you didn't do enough as players? Do you take blame at some point? Or it's always about the coach? No, uh, I think it should also come back to us as players as well. Because, uh, like I said, we have the best coaches, one of the best coaches in the country, mm. the coaching staff actually. So, um, sometimes you can have a bad day, but uh, it, um, it shouldn't purely be the coach. Because the coach gives instructions, style of play, and sometimes players, you know, we, we don't execute. Because many factors contribute, you know, and all the mm. things. But uh, it shouldn't be purely be the coach. Uh, I think we've been having issues about, uh, like I say, consistency. Even to us players, today you have a good game, mm. uh, the next day you're not in good shape, but the coach has to put you back because he's basing the opportunity to, to, to play you basing on the previous game. Mm. So it's, uh, it comes us to us also to maintain, because at this level, we know what we want. Mm. You know, sometimes... Uh, we get complacent. You know, here when they cheer us about this case, they say, yeah, some people don't cheer. We get complacent, we get to that comfortable zone. Uh, you don't put in much effort, you know? And sometimes you feel for the coaches because they will hit them, you know? For them, they'll have another picture of you and you, you're giving the opposite. So I think it should be a collective uh, responsibility. The players, we should know, for example, KCC players should know the demands for being at a club like KCC. You're in a team that wants to win every day and good performances every day. So even us players should up the game. It shouldn't purely be the coaches like it's been. It's not right, it's not professional. Then uh, some of the players that are on board, mostly the strikers, yeah. are not firing. Yeah. But the goals are coming in, yeah. however, from yeah. all parts of the field. Yeah. As a captain or as a fellow player yeah. playing with these guys, yeah. Do you sometimes sit down with them? I'm talking about the strikers mostly. Yeah. The yeah. goals are not coming in. Talk about Muhammad Shaban, yeah. Simon Kankonde, yeah. who's uh, now yeah. trying to fire. Yes. As players, mm. what are some of the words of when you're in your kafunda, maybe having yeah. lunch? I know yeah. players like joking a lot about these things, <laughs> yeah, you know? Of course. But do you sometimes sit down and talk about these things? Well, uh, what is your view? Well, we have uh, we have one of the we actually we have the best strikers in the country. Uh, it's uh, it's unfortunate that the goals are not coming in, but like you said, they are starting to maybe they are, they are, they are starting to get their right boots, their right scoring boots. They came wearing the ones of last season. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not for not the ones of last season, but 
no, you get your touch. This is what they call form and everything, you know. So uh, it's good they are starting to get their touch. Uh, we don't dispute their quality, their potential. We have the best strikers in the country. And uh, for a team to have um, other departments scoring, defenders, midfielders, it's a plus, mm. you know. So uh, I think we've done well. It, it shows the fire in the team. Everybody wants to score. Everybody wants to help the team to win. And I think we've done that right. But for the strikers, they are going to score, no question. Okay. All right, so Benja, I, I want to talk about uh, game preparation. Yes. How do you prepare for games as players? As players? Yes. Uh, uh, for starters, uh, of course, you leave home, you come. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> you have to leave home. <laughs> yeah. That is if it is no camp. But That's no. if you slept home. Yes, yeah, that if you slept home. Because sometimes... There are some who don't sleep home. No, no, no. I did sleep at the camp. No, no, no. no. Everybody... Twice is a very professional club. But if it's camp, everybody sleeps in camp. Mm. Uh, if, it's, um, if you've slept home, we have um, time for arrival and what you do. And every, we, have, we have club countdown. Say like, uh, if you're playing at home, mm. arrival time is nine. Uh, breakfast, everybody takes breakfast because we don't know how you've slept and everything. Mm. Then after you take a nap, we have stretching and strengthening before the game, just for the fitness coach to, to, to see how players respond to the, how their bodies respond. Mm. Then um, team talk, a brief team talk, lunch. Then again, we have a nap. We normally have two, three hours there. Mm. Then from three o'clock, 2.30, 2.45, people start getting dressed up. But of course, uh, you've seen some players come with their different foods and everything, so lunch, they give us lunch, so like um, we have lunch, club lunch. Everyone but, eats. Yeah, everybody eats. Food. No, no, no. People have, uh, for example, Alan, you've seen Alan with CJ, whatever, placards and stuff. So um, everybody, we are professional pl players. So mm. I, I, I could be comfortable with our local food at the club. I would prefer lasagna, I would prefer pancake, I would prefer, because some of the players take just fruit salads before the game. Uh, some just take a cup of tea and some what cake. Data? Me, I eat a normal meal. I eat uh, local food. Uh, chicken. Local food. I eat uh, rice and chicken and potatoes. Just small bits and avocado. But players eat a lot of food. Is it on a match, match day, day where you eat? <laughs> <laughs> it's different <laughs> match day because your intention, you know? When your intention is very hard to consume lots and lots of food mm. because uh, you just need, your mind is about the game. Do you then eat after the match? Yeah, we, are, we, have, we, have, we, have, we, have, we have we have bites, half time, we have bites after the game, then we can also have food at the club. We are KCCA, my friend. I know we are KCCA. <laughs> Talking about that, uh, there is an episode that yeah. we ran on yeah. uh, KCCA FC TV behind the scenes yeah. where uh, you, the captain, mm. uh, came up yeah. and you told the boys yeah. we are KCCA FC. Yeah. We, it, I think it was against Black's Power. Yeah, Black Power. Yes. Are you guys went ahead and recorded that? How yeah. Did, how did you guys sneak into the dressing room? We are KCCA, like you say. <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, you know, um, sometimes uh, we need that because uh, the need teams, that, awakening. that awakening. Sometimes there is there's no hard feeling. Sometimes we need to stamp authority, especially when we are home, you know, because these fans come and you've seen the things, Coach Mole should go, you guys, and you know, they, they attack us like we senior players and mm -hmm. stuff. So sometimes they, are, they rightly do so, by the way. They, they rightly they do feel, so because they feel they're not doing enough. Yeah, we're not doing enough. And sometimes it's not passing on pressure to them, but giving them that awakening is very important. You know, we have a lot of talent and some of our players are like, I'm talented enough, I'm good enough. So they need that, uh, they need that. that awakening. It's a good thing for a team. Cause you saw after the, we came on the second half, we hammered the guys, is it four? Yes, yeah. yeah, four one. So it's a good thing, no hard feelings, just about uh, hey, Tuzuk, okay, you know? Yeah. But, but my thinking is, uh, as a player, do you need an awakening? I think in my head, yeah. this is a job. Yeah. I have to do. Mm. I don't need my boss to actually tell me, but oh, you know what? You have to do A, B, C, D. Yeah. So I think I'm a little bit disturbed if mm. you have to awaken players and remind them, hey guys, I think we have to do this. We have to do this. We are not doing this. We have to do this. Don't you think? Have you ever woken up <laughs> on the wrong side of the bed? <laughs> have ever? Yes. So it's just like that. Sometimes you can, uh, you've trained well, you've done what, but the body, you know, you're like, you're not yourself. Mm. And hey, this will do. So whatever you saw was, hey, Tuzuku, okay. And after that, when somebody gives you that part, that harsh part, you, yeah. you get on your, you get to your, your, your normal self. Mm. It's not about not being professional and stuff. You can have those days. 
Like I said, you guys also have bad days, but yeah, nobody's but, but there. I, but I think I just feel like uh, players are more or less like babies. That's what you think. You have no. Yeah. I've I've seen the coaches on the touchline all the time. Hey, go ahead. You tell no. Get that in. Like, Those are reminders. You know, it's pressure, my friend. It's pressure. You know, on the field, you walk on the field to play. Then why do you train if you have to be told everything you have to do on the pitch? Do you do everything at your place of work perfectly? Is everything like 100%, 100% from your bosses? No, but I don't need to be reminded about the same thing every day. No, 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 no. It's just a reminder or, you know, when you, 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 things are happening very fast. And you seeing, maybe when the coach stands there, you like to remember, eh, but the coach, coach is all the time. What? Hey, wait, to get to our training is a release. No, you but, know, get to our no, get there. Yeah. Like all the, from minute one to 90, you're no, being no, no, reminded no, about no, how no, to no, track. No, 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 sometimes it's not that. Sometimes, sometimes it's just stands. The manager just stands and is, and you pressure. just look at him <laughs> and you don't have pressure. <laughs> no, pressure is on. Pressure is on. <laughs> at a club like KCC, mm. there has to be pressure. At a top club, there has to be pressure. Mm. And then everywhere, yeah, everywhere, there has to be pressure. You the also fans, have pressure. Too. The fans, what? The camera guy. Yes. Everybody. Ramsey freezes. He's taking pictures yes, and he's scoring no pictures. Yes. You don't see. You see a blood thing. You know, and they've scored. But anyway, <laughs> the pressure is there, and mm. maybe it's some of the things you see is. A about uh, how the manager handles the pressure, how we play as under the pressure, and if he was in, he's a father. If you're your manager, your father, you see one of your kids going astray, like, mm. hey, you put them on right. It's not that you it's not that the kids don't know what they're doing, mm. but it's just maybe a reminder and everything. Yes. Yeah, and talking of pressure, yeah. we, we've seen we've seen the fans uh, put up placard, yeah. molly out. Mm. Uh, I don't want to say it's wrong, yeah. but as fans, they rightly do so, depending yeah. on how they feel. Yeah. They, if they feel maybe the team is not doing enough, we've seen this also Elsewhere. in European yes, fans. It yes. happens everywhere. Yes. So you can't blame the fans if yeah. they feel... Because I think when you give them good football, they don't do that. So as players, what runs behind your head seeing that being done? Because the coach, like you said, yeah. is the father, yeah. is the one who's the head, yes, the yes, technical yes, team yes, and the yes, players. Yes. What runs behind your, your heads as players? Do you sit down and say, okay, Look here, guys, we have to fight as players. We have to do something different. This should not be happening. Do you feel for the coach? Of course, of course, because uh, it's the coach who signed all of us there. If he didn't want you there... You wouldn't be there in the first place. You wouldn't be there in the first place. So, he understand, I think he understood that uh, we are the type of players who would get the job done. So, of course, if somebody gives you that, mm. you return the favor. And um, like I said, I'm not defending all what you would call mediocre performances. I'm not defending those poor performances, but things happen, you know, in football. This happens everywhere. You've seen the, uh, Van Gaal out at Manchester United and all these things. All these coaches are... Do you poor. blame the fans for... No. Why? I don't blame them because uh, we are entertainers. For example, you pay your money, you, you want to watch beautiful football, yeah. you want to see a performance, and your expectations are here, you see this. I don't blame them, but they should also understand that uh, we are human beings. Sometimes things don't turn out the way you... you Even can, life, life can't be... You, life can't be flat. like this, but you understand for yeah, them... They're ups and downs. Yes, and some of them, they put on those things on their heads. But also as a fan, yeah. I don't want ups and downs. I can understand, yeah. but I want... Mm -hmm. The standard, but there's been a, the, the there's time. been a certain level of consistency this time around. Mm. Uh, you 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 should, if you've been watching our games, there's a level I, of consistency. Watching, yes, I've been watching the you, games. Of course, <laughs> <laughs> there's a level of consistency. But I'm not mm. defending mediocre performances. That brother. is true. Yeah, I think it's one area we really need to improve as a mm. team. We really need to work on our consistency, and um, we really need to get those results, especially at home. Mm. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, Benja, the fans mm. are right to do whatever they do because, yes. as for them, all they want is the team performing at yes. the highest yes. level, yes. as KCCA should, by the way. Yes. Uh, a little bit outside football. Mm. What do you do besides football? Well, uh, Any other sport you do? No, I do a bit of kickboxing and it helps. Oh. Yes. Uh, well, but no, not today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it helps me relax and I'm sure the boys as well do a lot of fun things, you know. The kickboxing of Golola Moses? No, 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 Golola Moses is something else. <laughs> but I mean, we do other things. I do a lot of, um, I spend some time with my family, with my genuine friends and guys who are not in football circles. So it, it's a bit refreshing uh, to reduce on the pressure and to get you fresh to the next game, next training, the next, uh, next, club obligations. So something outside football. So kickboxing for me and spending some time with family and with some friends, it does for me. How good are you at basketball? I try. I can at least bounce the ball. Because <laughs> just there we're seeing uh, ah, basketball true. court. 
And I think next time we we are going to come here and have a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> me and you, that's what I mean. Not not uh, me and you. Yeah. Football players trying to they can in. with fitness, you know. But that game, eh? I think it's one of the game you need to be a hundred percent fit because there's no standing. Basketball is running. end to end. It's end just end. running and all these things. Okay. Yeah. So so Benja, it was good having you on the show on KCCFC TV. And uh, as we conclude the show, I yeah. want you to have a word yeah. first for the KCCA fans, yeah. then for the people who are watching KCCFC TV, and yeah. also today yeah. being a first yeah. of January 2023, yeah. I would want you to wish our yeah. viewers a happy new year. Yeah. The floor is yours. You can do whatever you want. Um, hi, KCCA family. I would start by wishing everybody out there a happy new year. Uh, we thank God for the past year and uh, we are hopeful for the new year. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for the support you've given the club. Uh, thank you for being that, uh, that 12th player for the team. Um, we are hopeful that this season uh, things will go our way. We are hopeful that uh, we'll be crowned champions. Please be part of the, the beautiful story. Thank you. Happy New Year. Oh, so thank you, Benjamin. Uh, so today that was Benjamin and uh, we are at Ultimate Fitness Kampala mm -hmm. where we had this session. Uh, from all of us at KCCA FC TV, we would want to wish you a happy New Year 2023. And please, always keep tuned in at KCCA FC TV. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you.